think the Great Wall of China is extreme? Think again. For your extreme vacation, try the Great Wall of Israel. Longer and higher than the Berlin Wall, a vacation destination. Because Israel's wall is not just a wall, it's an international apartheid icon. If you want apartheid, two sets of people controlled by one government with separate and unequal sets of laws and privileges, Israel's the place. And we've got the apartheid wall to prove it. Think we built the wall for security? Think again. If the wall was just just for security, we'd build it on the border of Israel and the West Bank. But Israel's wall is twice as long as the West Bank border because our wall dives into the West Bank to grab more land, more settlements, and especially more of those headwaters of the Western Aquifer that supply so much of everybody's water. Why build a wall on your own land when you can build it on someone else's? Israel's wall is not between us and them, it's between them and them. They can't get to their own schools or fields, but you can if you're of the correct ethnic religious category. World class apartheid waiting for you. And best of all, the wall shows that Israel is above the law. The wall was declared illegal by the International Court of Justice 10 years ago. Did we stop building it? Not a chance. They told us to stop building settlements too, but we didn't listen. It's been a record year for Israeli settlements with their special apartheid laws and privileges for you if you're of the correct ethnic religious category. And better than best of all, the wall stops them, but not us, because we have settlements on both sides. Think you've seen all of Israel? Well, there's more of it now. If you're of the correct ethnic religious category, we're always grabbing more land for you. And the separation wall is our monument to show the world when you say Israel, you're saying apartheid.